What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw a tree house in three point perspective. In the past I made a video on drawing in three point perspective and I pretty much give you the basics of drawing in perspective, what it basically is, and how to go about it the easy way. Link to that video will be in the card right here if you want to go and check that out. Also it would be easier if you have seen the video so you understand some parts that I'm saying in this video unless you know how to draw a perspective already. But when we're drawing in perspective I like to use a ruler. I'm using a 12 inch ruler. When you're drawing in perspective you're going to need a horizon line. A horizon line goes straight across the page like this a vertical line does this so we need a horizon line so we're just gonna make one you're gonna pick a point anywhere on the page so we can make the horizon line so now that we got a horizon line I'm gonna pick a place where I want to add my three vanishing points now the reason they're called vanishing points is because when you're looking at something drawn in perspective those lines kind of connect towards that certain point which I'll explain later on in the video but when you're drawing a three-point perspective two of these points will have to go on this horizon line and then one point can go anywhere else on the page so I'm gonna pick my vanishing point to be over here and then my third one can go like down here yeah so that's why it's one one, two, three point perspective. Now we can actually start. So just like drawing in two point perspective, you can have a vertical line going straight across the page. But since I picked the point down here, we can also make that same vertical line. It just has to connect with this uh, third vanishing point down here. So that's pretty much okay. So it looks kind of like a T and that's, that's what it's kind of supposed to look like. And now we can actually get started with drawing the tree house. So the first thing, the first thing I want to do is we're going to actually make the tree. So we're going to be viewing this entire thing as a bird's eye view, which means we're going to be looking down at it, meaning the tree will kind of be foreshortened to this uh, vanishing point down here. So it'll be big around this area and then short around this area. It's kind of being the same as a foreshortening in a way. So I'm going to pick a point like right around here. Do the same thing on this side. Only because that's pretty much the house. The house will be kind of the same shape that I made these lines in. Okay, and then I'm going to pick a point like right up here. Because that's also going to be the house. Okay. And then now we're actually going to draw the base of the tree house. So again, we can connect this uh, vertical line here with our vanishing point that's over here. And do the same thing on the other side. And then we'll keep doing that until we get a base that we're going to be satisfied with. Okay, now that we actually got the house drawn, the base of the tree should be actually easy. All you got to do is literally trace these two lines here until you get to a point where you want to stop and make the roots of it. So I'm going to pick a point like right around here. You don't need, you really don't need to do much to it. Yeah, see it's following that same line and also being uh, foreshortened. Also, when you're drawing the house up here, I should have mentioned this earlier, but earlier I said we were going to do this at a bird's eye view. This kind of looks like it's at a worm's eye view when you're looking up at it. But the reason I have it like this is because uh, we picked the point and it's above the horizon line. And when you're drawing in perspective, the horizon line is like a breakaway point between looking down at your piece and looking up at your piece. So about anywhere below this horizon line, we're going to be looking down on it as a bird's eye view. But since the point I drew here is above the horizon line, we're going to be looking up at it. Because if we were to draw the base kind of like above the horizon line like this, it wouldn't make sense. So just keep that in mind when you're drawing in perspective because I had this problem when I was learning too. So that's just something you just got to watch out for because it does get confusing sometimes. But anyway, most of the treehouse is actually drawn. Um, all we have left to do is mostly the tree. So we can draw like the actual shape of the tree. It looks like a upside down traffic cone. Since we're actually drawing a tree house, we can make a few branches here and there to make our viewers think that uh, it's being held steady with the branches if that makes sense. So I'm just going to draw branches here and there. And now come the point where we can actually draw the roots of it. So we're just going to make it s sort of like a, a f I don't know how to say it. Um, make it look like a, a turnip or beets. That's, that's the way I like to draw it. 
but to me there's no specific way of doing it and the reason I think that is because uh, trees are actually created by nature it's not like men would have made it to be a specific shape and that's why I don't have a preference towards drawing roots just have it any kind of shape or to make it look as if they are roots and then draw a little just draw a few blades of grass around there and then last thing we can do is add like the entire leaf structure of the tree so pretty much what I like to do is make like a big circle And this circle I made is pretty much the leaf structure and I can pretty much freelance it when I go to do the uh, inking process of this illustration. So it's not really much to do at this uh, sketching phase. Since we're almost finished here, what I want to do uh, now is add windows to the treehouse. And again, using the vanishing points. And then instead of making vertical lines just like this one to connect these uh, windows together, we're going to connect each of them to the vanishing point down here. I mean, it's not going to be the same angle as this line here. It's going to be a little bit tilted compared to the uh, first line that we drew connecting to this bottom point. Okay, now that the tree house is pretty much drawn, I'm going to ink it and then color it so you guys can see the entire illustration finished, inked, and colored. So that's how you draw a treehouse in three point perspective. If you liked today's video and you find it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I pack my nigga like